um welcome to another episode um today the question that we are going to discuss was asked at google um the question is something like this um you are given like in linear algebra uh, there is a matrix called toiplitz matrix sorry if my pronunciation is bad um what exactly is this matrix that any elements in the given diagonal from top left to bottom right are identical identical um by that i mean let's understand it by an example so i'll just copy this example here we have 1 2 3 4 8 and then we have 5 1 2 3 4 and then we have 4 5 1 2 3 and then we have 7 4 5 1 2 okay. so this is this is our matrix here um by that what do i mean here is uh we need to figure out whether it's a toiplitz matrix or not right so what is the definition of toiplitz toiplitz matrix um in this case it is a toiplitz matrix um by that i mean that this diagonal here and then this diagonal here then this diagonal here and then this diagonal here then so we have a rainbow here right <laughs> okay so you see from from this corner to this corner if i go in the diagonal direction the values are same right so that is the definition of our uh, toy let's matrix okay so so now that the definition is clear how do we solve this question right now assume let me give the marking to this column so this is a 4 cross 5 matrix right so the columns index are something like this and then the row indexes are like 0 1 2 3 now what do we observe here what all values are same uh, let's let's try to write it so matrix mat matrix okay let me let me take let me assume this whole matrix is called uh, is called a right so what do we see here a of 0 4 is what eight so there is no other value equal to it now similarly a of 0 3 is equal to a of 1 4 which is equal to 4 right then similarly we have a of 0 of Two, which is equal to a of uh, one of three, which is equal to a of um, two of three, which is equal to three. So similarly, we see that we start from this. let's say i start from 0,1 and then i need to check 1,1 then i need to check 2,3 sorry sorry I, i repeat so if i start from 0,1 i need to check next value as 1,2 then 2,3 and then 3,4 so what's the general idea here it's nothing but 
you see r a of i j should be equal to a of i plus 1 j plus 1 right so how do we how do we solve it in coding terms um, let me let me try a pseudo code for this i'll take a boolean flag okay initially it's equal to true so i assume it's a toyplitz matrix now i start a for loop because i know my starting point is always going to be row 1 i'll just iterate over columns here so i'll take my columns as i'll start with column 0 right yeah i'm going to take column 0 and then i let's go m okay i'm considering rows r n columns r m j plus plus actually i need to iterate over row as well so Let me consider it true. That way it will be more clear. Um, okay. So my for loop starts with i and i equal to zero. I less than n I plus plus. Right. Um, then I take. For i n t j equal to zero, j equal to m, j plus plus. Now this is gonna be my starting point. So what do I check here? Uh, I'll take a value i n t val. Now this is I need to check. Take matrix i comma j. Now I need to check. Uh, I need to take i n t start i n t end j plus one. Now while Uh, start is less than n and end is less than m. And also, let me let scrap this or make it more clean. may take a easy variables so the idea here is for each uh, row column combination i'm trying to iterate and then check whether i get the value equal around the diagonal so i'll take another variable iss which is i plus 1 and the end as j plus 1 right and then i have a while loop which is s should be less than n because s is for the row end should be less than m and a value should equals equals um a of s e right or or we can we can we can remove this we can i can have this check inside 
so my while loop while loop stays till here and then if if value is not equal to a of s comma e then return false because at that point we know it's never gonna be equal and at the end of this loop we'll do s plus plus and then e plus plus right so let's go over, over this and try to keep this screen side by side so that we can see what's happening I think this is better so what I'm doing here is initially my i is 0 j is 0 so what I do I get to the value value is 1 right now I take another variable i plus 1 j plus 1 and then then I check till the time these two don't go out of bounds I need to check the, all the values right so in this next iteration so first first s becomes 1 e becomes 1 right so we see a of 0 0 is 1 and a of 1 1 is 1 right so they are equal so this while loop this condition is true and then this check is true right this check is true value is not equal to uh, this check is, is true in the sense that this it doesn't fail so we do s plus plus e plus plus which is s becomes 2 now e becomes 2 now so now a of 0 0 is 1 so which is the value and next time we check that 2 a of 2 2 is 1 or not that's same so that's that's correct so we still don't get into this condition we do s plus plus e plus plus now they become 3 s and e becomes 3 so a of 0 0 is 1 uh, and a of 3 3 is 1 so that's cool so this condition again doesn't fail so and then next time we do this 4 this 4 but this time it's out of bounds according to while loop so we come out of it so we don't do anything else now we may go to the next thing which is i stays 0 but j becomes 1 which is like we come here 0 comma 1 right so so now i will scrap all this again i'll write it so i think it will be more clear okay so i is 0 now j becomes 1 value becomes 0 comma 1 is 2 s becomes uh, in s initial value becomes um, 0 1 and e e values becomes 2 right so we check uh, 2 is equal to a a of 1 comma 2 which is 2 right so this while loop will only just break when it's out of bounds so that is not going to happen so now we do s plus plus e plus plus this becomes 2 this becomes 3 now 2 comma 3 is equal to value again we go to s plus plus this becomes 3 this becomes 4 so 3 comma 4 is 2 again so we don't go out of bounds and then it goes out of bounds so that's time we come out but this is the whole small conditions uh, the whole pseudocode that actually solves and keeps the value of this flag true 
we instead of returning false we can actually set flag as false and we can use that flag value to print or whatever you want the overall time complexity of this code is because this for loop runs o of n times this for loop runs o of m times and this for loop actually runs o of min of n comma m so it's overall like you can say it's o of n cube so this is our time complexity of this problem um, i'll be attaching the code for this problem um, in the description so you, you guys can follow more up uh, more on it uh, i hope you guys liked it and if so please like share and subscribe thanks guys